Hello everyone, I'm Julian from MrChia.com.sg and on behalf of Vantage Automotive, I want to show you the BYD 803. For the moment, this is the most popular electric car in Singapore and I want to show you why. The 803 is a family-friendly electric crossover. It's very roomy inside and also very practical. But the interesting thing is that its 100 kilowatt motor gives it a category A COE, so it's also designed to be affordable. There are two versions on sale in Singapore. There's a regular model and then there's this, the Carbon Edge, which is designed to be a little bit more sporty. You will, of course, have seen the 803 before. It's a very popular car and actually the showroom is already crowded and it always is crowded. I've tried to notice that uh, the regular car has a silver panel over here, but the Carbon Edge Edition makes use of black, not just over here, but all around the car. So the BYD design badges on the side, the roof rails are black, and even the BYD badge itself on the tailgate is black. Something common to all 803s though is that they all have what BYD calls the dragon face design. And as you know, dragons are associated with wealth and majesty in Chinese culture. And given how popular these cars have become on the road in Singapore, 2024 really is shaping up to be the year of the dragon. While I'm here, I want to show you something that the Carbon Edge version has and the regular version doesn't have. And that is a franc. Of course, francs are not usually that big. But the main point is that when you drive an electric car, all your friends and family are going to ask you whether it comes with a franc. And it's nice to say that your car does. And someone's left something here for me. Of course, it's up to you what you put inside the franc of a car. And this stuff is coming out, but it's not going back in. <laughs> Yes. Something you can't actually see but which is super interesting is the battery of the 803. Now electric cars use lithium-ion batteries and some of them catch fire quite violently whenever you penetrate them with a sharp object. But I've seen this with my own eyes with a BYD Blade battery. Somehow even though it's completely perforated with a very sharp needle, it manages to not catch fire and that's great for safety. And even though this is something you can't actually see, knowing that it's there is great for peace of mind. So let's just have a very quick look at the 803's boot. First thing you notice is that there is a very flat loading surface here, so it makes it easier to load heavy items on and off. But if that's not an issue, well, this luggage cover actually pops off and there is space for it under this boot floor. Uh, so if you want to take this off, hide it there and bring a furry friend along for the ride, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, this is a two-level boot though, so you can slip the floor down here and that creates a little bit of extra loading height. So if you want to take a slightly taller item with you, that's not going to be a problem. And finally, one slightly fancy feature, electric car, electric tailgate. Makes sense to me. Behold my empty hands here. Well, let me show you something amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this NFC card actually grants you access to the A203. All you have to do is press it to this wing member here and that unlocks the car and actually lets you drive it away. So if you're sick of carrying car keys around, well, this is the real magic. Okay, I'm guessing if you're thinking about an A203, it's because you're prepared to leave combustion behind. Well, get ready to leave convention behind as well because have a look at this door panel over here. Now the 803's interior really is quite playful and you can see it just over here with this design. Uh, these panels over here, uh, which are black in the Carbon Edge Edition, are actually designed to look like muscle fibers. Even the door handles are actually quite unconventional. And look at this cabin lighting over here. It's of course customizable, uh, but you can have it throb along with the beat. You've got this nice sort of steampunk element over here. And check this out here. On this door speaker, you've got these guitar strings. Think of all the money you're going to save with music lessons on your kid. Okay, as soon as you climb aboard the 803, you have a place for your phone because there's a wireless charging pad here. And finding the perfect driving position is super easy in this car because you do have electric seat adjustment, not just for the driver, but also for the front passenger. And notice that this driver display is actually connected to or mounted on the steering column. So no matter where you place your steering wheel, it will always be clearly in view. Okay, even though the 803 is a very futuristic electric car, it actually shouldn't intimidate you even if you've never driven an electric car before. And that's because the controls are actually very straightforward and easy to figure out. All the key driver functions are actually at your fingertips. 
something I want to draw your attention to. When you take this car for a test drive, make sure you play with this switch in particular. That's the one that allows you to set the regenerative braking for this car. When you take your foot off the accelerator in an electric car, it actually puts energy back into the battery. And this switch lets you adjust how aggressively you want that to happen. So you can have a lot of regen or very little regen depending on how you like to drive. And it helps to make for a smoother drive. And now I want to show you the central touchscreen, which has been upsized for 2024, and it's now a mammoth 15.6 inches. And uh, like in other cars, you can control the basic vehicle functions, such as your climate control system. This car does actually have an air quality monitor, but also has an air purifier, so you can always drive around with clean air. And uh, I want to show you that you can also control all the major vehicle functions, such as the active safety systems. So when you take this car for a test drive, you'll notice that it has a lane keep uh, assist system, for example and blind spot monitors. It also has things like autonomous emergency braking, uh, active cruise control, and you can find the settings for these, many of these systems, right here on the central screen. Something worth checking out as well is the 360 degree monitor, which is very handy if you find yourself in a tight spot. Of course, it's not all about safety and vehicle functions. This is an entertainment system. So you've got things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but the car does have its own built-in fun to play with functions as a karaoke system, for example. But I need a microphone to show you that. So you should be glad I don't have one with me. And it does have things like uh, Spotify. So you're, if you're connected, you can bring your playlist along with you. And uh, let me show you something quite cool. Hi BYD, rotate your screen. And that allows you to turn the screen so that you, know, you can have it portrait or landscape, whichever you prefer. I think that this orientation actually works quite well with navigation because you can actually see a little bit further up the road. Uh, but something I'm absolutely dying to show you is this built-in browser where you can go to your <clears throat> favorite websites. Not that you should do it while you're driving, of course, but I think that the point I want to make is that this car actually has its own 4G connection. So it can pull data from the internet and that means that it can receive over the air updates. And that means when you drive this car and you own this car, it actually gets better with time. Okay, let me show you the back now, but before that, Hi BYD, open the shade. Okay, now we are very well catered to in the back here. There are rear aircon vents, which are super important in our climate. A couple of USB charging ports as well. One USB A, one USB C, so you don't really have to choose. I'm sure you've noticed it's nice and bright in here now, and that's because every 803 comes with a panoramic glass roof. Of course, not everyone likes to have lots of sunlight pouring into the cabin, especially on a hot day. So it does come with an all important sunshade. Now something that I have to show you is how much room I have back here. Even though the 803 isn't a very bulky and large car on the outside, it's very, very roomy inside. The reason for that? Well, it's an electric car and electric motors are relatively compact compared to engines. And of course, there's no petrol tank. There's no tunnel here for an exhaust pipe. So that leaves a lot of space for the passenger compartment, which I'm sure you can see. And that's just one of the many extra benefits of driving an electric vehicle. Oh, something that's just caught my eye is that this dragon scale panel over here is now glossy black, so it looks a little bit more sporty. Also new, did you notice it actually used to spell out build your dreams in full back here, but now it just says BYD. And that's a sure sign that the brand has become much more well established. So that's our quick walk around introduction of the BYD 803. If you do have questions about the car, or if you want to arrange a test drive for yourself, you can do so right here on mrchia.com.sg. Thanks for watching. See you again.